everyone, it's me Nat and today I have some litter training guinea pig tips. I'm just going to state the obvious and say that guinea pigs are very messy animals and they are actually very difficult to litter train because they tend to do what they like whenever they like and they simply do not care. My guinea pig is actually litter trained um, which is very very rare and not something I actually did myself. This could be to do with the fact that she is a single guinea pig and therefore marking territory is not necessary and obviously there's less poop if there's only one pig. I do not recommend just having one pig, guinea pigs are social and do need friends and therefore I think it's better to have poop everywhere and lots of pigs as opposed to just one who is litter trained. Nevertheless she is litter trained and I didn't really train her, she just did it automatically but here's some tips that may have helped her which may have made her litter train herself. I think she litter trained herself, I never really stuck to anything strict so I'm guessing she did but anyway I'll just share with you some tips that may have worked and we'll see how it goes from there. My first tip to do is just to observe guinea pigs do have some habits they might wee and poo everywhere but they will most likely have some places which are their favourite such as a dark corner or under a hidey house. This is where my second tip comes in and this is plenty of litter boxes. Do not be shy and just put one litter box in, fill the place with large litter box stuffed with hay. As guinea pigs eat they poo so make sure there are plenty of good sized litter boxes and avoid those pathetic little corner ones which no animal can actually fit their bottom in. I tend to fill my litter trays with newspaper, megazorb and lots of hay and I use the newspaper to hold it all together and so that's easy to clean, the megazorb for absorbent and comfort and then lots of hay to entice Minstrel to wee and poo in the same place that she is eating. I also think it's really important to keep the litter trays clean and also the cage clean. If there is poo everywhere then they're not going to stick to habits but if there's just a bit of poo in each corner they may just keep returning to that. Also some guinea pigs won't use dirty places so it's, still, it's ideal to keep the litter trays clean and the cage clean as well. If you pop your litter trays in a quiet place, preferably dark, even under a hidey house or something if you can, it is much more likely for your guinea pig to use it than if it's out in the open and maybe every time you go to fill up the food bowl they are disturbed. So if you put them, if you're in a hutch for example, there is that little shadow corner. If you put that bit where it's enclosed, if you put a litter tray in there then that's probably most ideal because it's dark and they're probably going to wee in there. I also think it's a good idea to use a different substrate in the litter tray as to what's in the actual cage. As you know, Minstrel is housed mainly on fleece and she doesn't tend to wee and poo at all on this because she's used to weeing and pooing on fitch which is what she used to have in her old cage and now she spends most of her time in her litter trays because that's where she likes to lie, in her litter trays and then that way she's weeing and pooing there as well so then when she wants to go for a wander she'll have a little wander on her fleece and won't really feel the need to wee or poo everywhere. To entice your guinea pig to actually use the litter tray I recommend having really nice big litter trays and not the small litter ones. I recommend putting lots and lots of hay in there as well because as I said before guinea pigs will eat and they will poo. I also recommend put some of the old droppings into the litter tray so that the smell hopefully entices your guinea pig. So when you clean out a new litter tray pop some of the old droppings that they did beforehand there and then they will hopefully use it again. I do recommend keeping the litter trays in the same place, preferably a corner where it's comfortable and not going to be disturbed and then that way the guinea pig will know where they need to go to wee and poo or they'll just be there all the time that it will be okay, You don't, they don't have to get up and go to a corner. If they're comfortable enough they will stay there and if you keep them in the same place then that means that they won't get confused and start weeing and pooing in where they used to on the fleece let's say. My guinea pig doesn't follow this rule partly because my guinea pig is not a normal guinea pig she is weird and unlikely so I definitely recommend keeping the litter trays in the same place. It's always a good idea to just pop your food bowl or their veg bowl in their litter tray as well to entice them as well as the keeping lots of hay in there if you just pop your food bowl in and they'll wee and poo as they eat like always. 
I think that is everything. If you have any more questions, leave them all below. Like I said, these are just tips. They're not likely to get your guinea pig litter trained if they haven't been for years and years, but there is no harm in trying and keeping persistent. And I definitely recommend using litter boxes, even if they're not litter trained, just because it is such a great place for them to sit and eat as well. And then you can catch some of the poo at least, as it might help. Thank you so so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, I know I've spent so long, I kept saying I was going to do this video and I never did, but here it is finally and I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it's helpful and don't worry guys though, persuading your parents for a pet will hopefully be the next video after this, it is coming, I am going to make it, eventually, I promise. I'll see you all next time guys, bye! bye.